Guess what? It's tuxedo time. Happy hobby, I'm Dave Goss, and once again, if you're a sports card collector and you're working with a limited budget, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube series because that's what we talk about on this channel. Specifically today, we're talking about getting your cards graded with SGC. Getting your cards graded is a very good way to ensure the value of it, keep the value of it for years to come, improve the value of those cards because now it's graded. A third party graded is telling someone that you're going to sell this to, hey, this is this condition of a card. So that helps the sale. So I sent these in a couple weeks ago. There's 10 cards in here. There's going to be four baseball cards, three basketball cards, a football card, a soccer card, an F1. We've got a little bit of everything this. It's going to be fun. So uh, let's dig into it. All right. So let's get into this. The first one, we're going with an F1 racing card. Now, this is the only F1 card I've ever purchased. And I bought it raw off eBay and uh, George Russell, it's his rookie card. And I got into F1 a little bit this year because um, uh, I started watching it a little more. So I had friends that were into it and I started watching it. I was, it was pretty cool. I was getting into it. And George Russell, Russell I was really into because he's kind of weird. He's kind of like an alien. I don't know what it is. He's British. He's very British. Really nice. Seems uh, seems like a cool dude. But uh, let's see what I got here. I did buy it raw on eBay, so I wouldn't be surprised. My guess is that this was a nine. Let's see what we got. We got a nine. All right. So right off the bat, that's a good start. And then my other first card. This is my first soccer card outside of like a a single. I mean, outside of a, a packs. This is my first single. Now I believe this was um, Cristiano Ronaldo's first. Panini Prism card, and uh, that's why I bought this. He has a rookie card in the 2000s, but this is a 2014 uh, Panini Prism Cristiano Ronaldo. And again, because I bought it raw off of eBay, I'm guessing this is a nine, which I'd be happy with. So let's see what we do here. My first Cristiano Ronaldo, my first soccer card, graded card. We got a nine, back-to-back -back nines. 99, 99's good. I've always said that, age of 99. She was funny. Get smart, anybody? All right, so now we move to basketball. Moving on to basketball, one of my favorite players on one of my favorite teams, Franz Wagner. The Magic picked him uh, with the, I believe, the seventh pick in 2021. He had a very good rookie season. He's having a phenomenal sophomore season. Possibly the best sophomore season out of everyone, but whatever, it's cool, it's cool. Best Rookie of the Year with Paolo Bancaro, but whatever. We got Best Rookie, Best Sophomore. It's cool. It's cool. Blue Velocity, this one. 2021 Donruss Optic Blue Velocity Silver Hollow. Let's see how I did. Bought this on eBay. So the general rule, if I'm buying it on eBay, is I'm guessing, you know, I tried to buy one as centered as I could get. And it's cheap. Obviously, I don't want it too expensive. But, man, isn't that a cool? Look at the color on that. So my guess is that this one is a 9 as well. Let's see what we got. We got a nine, triple nines. So far, I'm like a very negative German guy. Get it? Okay, we're moving on. Moving on with the comedy. This one's my first Julio Rodriguez graded card. Now, you may remember this one from uh, Topps Chrome Update. When I opened up that box, I got five Julio Rodriguez cards. This was the purple parallel. You can see it's definitely off center from right to left. I didn't care. I wanted this one graded because it's the coolest Julio Rodriguez card that I own. So I'm very excited about that. Put that in the display. Let's see what we got here. I, I guess this was a nine also, but SGC is really tough on centering. So if it's under nine, that's understandable as well. All right, let's see what we got there. J-Rod, 8.5 purple refractor. So uh, I took a hit on that one, but I was kind of expected. Like I said, it's the coolest J Rod I've, I've, uh, I have. It's the coolest one I own, so I wanted to get that graded. So I'm very happy with that. All right. Speaking of cool and speaking of awesome, Wander Franco, 2022 Tops Chrome. This is like one of the big chase cards in the Tops Chrome, and it's a refractor. 
Um, I was super happy when I pulled this. I think I pulled this maybe like the second pack of the first box of the only Topps Chrome box that I opened. I was very happy with it. Look at the color on that. All right, so I'm, I'm, I guess, as per usual, as you can tell, I go with nine. So let's see what we got there. Wander, my boy, a 10. We got... My boy, Wander, gets a 10. I'm, I apologize for the screaming and the hollering and the... There's fireworks in the distance. I'm sure you can hear my cellar craziness. All right. Let's let's move on. Let's let's uh, let's take a look. We got finally got a ten. Let's let's bask in this a little bit. I thought it was a little. You can see it's a little from right to left. It's a little off center. I think maybe. So I will take that. Thank you, SGC. That is a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful uh, gift. I'll take it. All right. Now this one's a Benny Montgomery. Now this one I pulled as well. All of these on the top level are ones I pulled. So including this Benny Montgomery, this is an autograph, Bowman Chrome 2022, Benny Montgomery, Mojo, Mojo autographed, uh, autograph. Uh, so let's see, is, is it the silver, was this silver pack or was it just, a mo I think they're silver pack Mojos, yeah. All right, so I'm not sure what happened here. I'm not sure if the autograph gets dinged because of that. Um, as a matter of fact, so if you're unaware they grade, hmm, how can I do this? They grade, they grade the autographs and then, and then they also give you a grade for the card. So let's do this. We're going to grade the autograph first and then we'll do, I'll reveal the card. So my guess is the autograph was a 10 because if it's not a 10, then they won't grade the autograph. But that looks like a good autograph. I don't know why he has an extra Y underneath his name, but uh, let's see what we do, and then and then they do the card grid. So let's see, what we got an autograph. We got a ten. We got a ten on the autograph. That's it. Let me left handed. All right, a ten on the auto. Now let's see. Now Ben Montgomery is still a pretty good prospect for the Rockies. He's got a lot of raw tools. Uh, he's a couple years away from doing any damage. So let's see what it got here on the on the card itself. A nine point five. All right, I guess the nine on that one. So I am super happy with that combination of grades. Fantastic. All right. Okay, now we're going back in time. Now we're going back in time to some older cards. This is James Harden rookie card. Bought this on eBay. Pretty cheap, too. Uh, I don't remember the price of it, but it wasn't too much. So my guess is, again, that it's because it's off of eBay. My guess is that it's somebody... They didn't grade it because they knew, but my guess is it's it's a it's a nine because they knew that's off centered because they had another one to compare it to or something like that. So I'm going with a nine. This is James Harden rookie card. Let's see what we got here. Eight point five. So just under a nine. Just under a nine. That's all right. It's a thirteen year old card. Fourteen year old card. Uh, I can. I'm, it's understandable. It's understandable. Now this next one. You know what? I'm gonna save this next one. That's a special one to me. So we'll go with the next one to this Pete Rose. This one's a an offset. Like it looks good on the back when I flip it over, you'll see, but it's a pretty off-centered 19, 1968 with the burlap sack design. I was never a fan of that design, but I don't have a, a, a good Pete Rose graded card. And I wanted to get one. So I got this raw. My guess is it's probably coming through as a four. You see that line right there, like all the way across the card. My guess is it's a four. The corners aren't bad. This one's a little soft, um, but I'm gonna guess it's a four because of the the centering and the and and the uh, soft corners. Let's see what we got here. Pete Rose, 1968 tops. Pete Rose, we got a four. My, hey, if anything, my grading eye is not horrible, so I'm I'm happy about that. I'm happy. If we're gonna be happy about random things, let's be happy about. Uh, you, you, the glass is half full. Think of it like that. All right, so this one, Oscar Robertson. Now, I'm in love with the 1972 um, Topps NBA set. It's just a fantastic set. I have Jerry West and Will Chamberlain and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. and I don't have the Dr. J rookie. I'm working on that. But I have a Dr. J all-star rookie card, which is pretty cool. But look at 
<laughs> the beauty of that card. I think I got I got this on eBay. I want to say 30 bucks. I want to say I got this for. And uh, to me, it's beautifully centered. You can see a little chip right there. Beautifully centered. My hope is this is at least a five. But um, the grading guy in me hopes it's a little higher. But uh, at least a five. Let's that when I bought it, my my hopes were I was getting a five out of this one. All right, let's see what we got here. Oscar Robinson, the big O. Did you know? Uh, average of triple double. Okay, Oscar Robinson. Let's see what we got. A six point six point one more. That was much better than I expected, and uh, it is a beautiful card. I don't know why I was expecting badness from it, but. That is uh, that trumps my 8.5 James Harden. I'll tell you that. That's pretty cool. All right, this is it. The last card of the batch. Here we go. Now, this is Eric Dickerson. 1984 Tops. Eric Dickerson. If you recall, this was from a video uh, I did when I opened up two packs of 1984 Tops football. Look at the centering. I just can't get my... Okay. My wife bought me two packs of 1984 Tops football for our anniversary. And this is what we pulled. She was she was hoping to get a Dan Marino. I was happy with any of these guys. Marino and Elway, Dickerson, like oh, any of them. This card is so sweet. I actually have a PSA 8, I think. So if this, well, this is definitely replacing this. Even this, if this is a six, it's replacing that one because it means something to me from, coming from my wife. But I think this is at least an eight and in a tuxedo. Man, whew. All right. So we're hoping for an eight or better. Eric Dickerson rushed for 2,000 yards, this guy. Where's Goggles? Went from the Rams to the Colts. Okay, here we go. Eric Dickerson, rookie card. Let's see what you got. A five. Well, <laughs> that was definitely not what I was hoping for. I'm, I really am shocked. This was pack fresh, as they say. I really am shocked. I don't see anything that would indicate why it would be a five. It does look pretty darn good in a tuxedo. Uh, but you know what? That's what it is. I got a five and a four over here. But man, I'm so happy with this 6.5. So you can't really be mad about the bad ones if you're super surprised with the good ones. Because it just means that, you know, sometimes they're, you're, you, they see things you're not seeing. So um, at any rate, let me move this guy. Let's get that up. Uh, Let's get that J-Rod in there. All right, we'll cover up Mr. Dixon for a second. All right, so let me know what you've been doing. Uh, if you've been getting some 10s, if you've been getting some 6.5s and uh, some 50-year-old uh, cards, I want to know. Uh, drop it in the comments how you've been doing with your grades. How's SGC, SGC treating you? Let me know in the comments, and whatever you do, have a happy hobby.